Hi everyone, this is Mike Zietta from Arlington, Virginia. And for three generations, my family's had a true love or passion for the antique horse-drawn carriages and all the accessories, and I share that exact same passion. I wanted to take some time today to talk to everybody about something that we all have in our carriage house of varying shapes and styles, and that is buggy wrenches. And this video is gonna be split into two or three different videos, each talking about different types of buggy wrenches. But today, I specifically want to talk about fixed buggy wrenches, both four and six-sided. And so, I'd like to show everybody something that we're all probably very familiar with, and that is a simple four-sided buggy wrench that'll hold a, a grease nut with four different openings on the end for different size nuts. Now, these types of buggy wrenches were made by the Eberhard Company of Cleveland, Ohio. Eberhard was started in 1881 as a Malibu Iron Company, and they did um, build these wrenches in all different shapes and sizes. Now you can always recognize an Eberhard wrench because along the entire length of the handle, you have two raised ridges on both the top and the bottom that make them just very distinctive to the Eberhard Company. Now it is um, unique and it took me a while to learn, um, and I want to thank my friend Dan for sharing this information with me, is that Eberhard marked the wrenches right here with a stamping. Now, the, these were a, a mass-produced wrench and they were very common, so a lot of the, wren the uh, wrenches you'll find today, the stamping is war. But that stamping will consist of four um, numbers followed by a letter. So with the four-sided wrenches, the model, which is the first four numbers, 2320, followed by the letter, the letter indicates the size. What I'm showing right here is the A size, the stamping will mark 2320A, and that was the smallest of the nut that they manufactured. You can also look at the largest size. This is also a 2320, and the marking on this end indicates that it's a J size. So every um, size, A through J, progressively got bigger, all model 2320. Now, just like they did this with a four-sided wrench, Eberhard also did the same thing with a six-sided buggy wrench. Six-sided nut on this end. Had the raised ridges along the length of the handle and was marked and a, um, with the model number. But the six-sided was 2325. So the four, first four numbers uh, indicate the model. The letter afterwards uh, determines the size. This is a C size, and this is an F size. And if I hold them side by side, you can see the difference. So it's just a, a nice little way of understanding exactly what those markings are that you're looking at it. And I, I think it'd be great someday in my collection, and I'm always looking to buy those wrenches that have very clear markings on them so that I have a complete set of A through J. Now the last type of wrench I want to share with everyone is a wrench that is more com or not as common as these wrenches and was all often used with the more select carriage manufacturers or the big city manufacturers. This particular wrench went to a Brewster carriage and you can recognize it from the side because it has a very distinctive shape or if you look at it from the top, you can see it holds a nut, a smaller nut um, that connects the actual wheel to the axle and the larger end that removes and tightens the oil cap. Now one distinctive feature with these wrenches is that with the Brewster ones, on the small end, you had a small recessed, uh, a recessed end. And this allowed you to uh, reach in farther inside the, um, uh, the hub and grab hold of that nut and twist it. The Brewsters have a very distinctive look. It is a, it is a certain length and it, it's hard to describe, but it's just right. But the important thing is, is that anytime you see a wrench of this shape, that does not indicate that it is necessarily a Brewster wrench. Uh, there are literally thousands of com uh, companies that were producing uh, axles at the turn of the century. And my friend Dan also shared with me that even Carnegie Steel had a branch of the company that made, uh, uh, made axles. And, hence they made the corresponding uh, wrenches. So while we all get very excited whenever we find a wrench of this shape, 
I want to uh, just reiterate, it does not mean that it's a Brewster wrench, but it means that it's a Collins axle wrench that could have been used with a variety of pieces of equipment. So I want to thank everyone today for uh, allowing me to share my, uh, my passion and my love with each of you. I, I hope I was able to share something that maybe you hadn't thought about in the past. And please keep me in mind if you have any items you're interested in selling, uh, if you're looking to purchase something, or if maybe you're just looking for different ways to market your particular items. Uh, this YouTube channel has been a lot of fun and I look forward to continued uh, hearing feedback and input from everyone. And I want to say thank you.